All right, uh, in this video, I'm going to look at uh, how to find <clears throat> an ODE from uh, its general solution. Um, so here we're going to be given uh, a general solution and then we want to find the ODE satisfied by the general solution in each, in each case. Uh, a and B are arbitrary constants. So the thing to uh, keep in mind here is that the number of constants corresponds with uh, the order of uh, the ODE. Um, so the number of constants is going to be equal to the order of the ODE. So if there's only one constant, then um, the ODE we're looking for is uh, of first order um, and typically we just need to differentiate once and then uh, use algebraic uh, manipulations to eliminate the constant. Uh, if there are two constants then the order of the ODE is second and uh, we have got to differentiate twice and then eliminate the two constants. Okay so let's uh, get going. So in A, we have got y equal to ax e to the minus x. So there is only one constant here. So the order you're looking for is uh, of uh, order 1. So we differentiate once using the product rule here. The derivative of this is going to be 1 minus x e to the minus x. Um, and then between these two, we eliminate um, A. <clears throat> For instance, from here, we can write that A is going to be equal to Y over X E to the X. And then we can take this and uh, uh, plug it into here. <laughs> So then what we're going to have is y prime is equal to y over x e to the x1 minus x e to the minus x. Then the e to the x and the e to the minus x cancel out. Uh, so this is just going to be y prime equal y over x1 minus x. And then if we bring the x to the uh, left hand side then we have got our ODE here so that is going to be the ODE satisfied by uh, this uh, uh, general solution all right but for for the next example then we have got uh, y equal to 1 over 1 minus a x so again this is uh, going to be uh, an ODE of uh, first order. Um, so what we're going to do here, we could just differentiate this using the chain rule this side on the right hand side. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip both sides up so that the A is in the numerator this side. Then differentiating this side will be y prime over y squared negative. This side is going to be negative a. <clears throat> and then all we need to do is to uh, take this a and uh, substitute it into here. And then we have got our ODE. Um, so... What we're going to have here is 1 over a is equal to, well, a here is simply y prime over y squared, so 1 minus y prime y squared times x. And then if we multiply everything by y squared, um, <clears throat> this thing is going to give us we're going to have y this side, y squared here, x, y prime. 
and so that is going to be the ODE satisfied by that general solution. In C, we have got y equal to a e to the 2x plus b e to the minus x. So this time we have got two unknowns. So that means the OD we're looking for is um, of order 2. So we need to differentiate twice and then um, uh, see how the two constants can be eliminated. So that's the first uh, order derivative. <clears throat> and this is the second order derivative. It's going to be 4ae to the 2x plus that. Now, going to notice that if we uh, add these two, the um, b term is going to uh, drop off. So y plus y prime is simply going to be 3a e to the 2x. And then if we add these two as well, the same thing happens. So y prime plus y double prime is 6a e to the 2x. Now, so if you multiply this by 2, then it becomes multiply this by 2 becomes exactly the same as that one so that means what we have is 2 times y plus y prime is equals to y prime plus y double prime um, if we bring everything to the same side then what we have here is y double prime mm, minus y prime minus 2y is equal to 0. So that is going to be our ODE. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to ask you to have a go at uh, these last two. I'm going to have a go at uh, uh, DNC, sorry, DNE. Um, you can pause the video uh, and then um, when you press play, then you can compare with our solution all right um, at this point we are hoping that you have had a go at uh, this uh, uh, dne if you haven't please do so it's going to be beneficial uh, so here is our answer so for d um, we have uh, um, one unknown um, however, since the y and the x, and uh, especially the y, is uh, appearing as an exponent, we're going to have to take logs first. Um, so the right hand side is going to be in a minus y of x. Then if we differentiate, uh, that's the derivative of the right hand side, that's the derivative of the uh, sorry, left hand side of the right hand side. Then if we multiply everything up by x squared y, then uh, these are going to be the terms and then we just collect terms here and so that is our ODE there uh, this time two unknowns so we're going to have to differentiate twice so we do that uh, at this point we notice that uh, this has got exactly the same structure as this one um, except this is multiplied by 2 so if I multiply this by x squared and this is what we have. So um, you can see that this is twice this. So if multiply this by two and then take it away from this, then that is our ODE there. All right, thanks for watching.